Hey, we're here at Mastodon Valley Farm, and I wanted to show you a uh, energizer system for electric fencing that I put together uh, that saved us a whole bunch of money this year. So we've got a lot of animals on pasture right now. We've got our herd of cattle down here. Uh, we've got our flock of sheep up on the hill. Uh, we use poly wire mostly for the cattle and electric netting fence for the sheep. And uh, it's, we're off grid here, so it's been a challenge to uh, keep everything energized because there's so much fence. As our herd grows, we need more and more fence to stay energized. When we first started, we used these uh, energizer kits from Premier One. It's a, uh, it's a nice portable kit with a handle and a built-in solar panel. Uh, this unit is uh, the 100 model, the PRS 100, and it's got a one joule energizer that works on smaller se sections of fence. It works pretty well. I like it. Uh, but what we, we kind of outgrew it to the point where it, uh, we weren't able to keep our fence zippy enough to keep animals in because our fences were getting so big. So we had to upgrade to the next level. This unit here costs about $350 new. Um, We've got like three of them, we really like them, but the next level up, which we needed, was the two joule energizer. So we needed two joules of electricity to keep our larger paddocks uh, fully energized. And Premier makes one of these models just like this, it's just a bigger briefcase, but it costs about 700 bucks, 650 to 700 bucks. And we weren't wanting to spend that, so we uh, just bought all the components separately and we were able to put together a similar size, a two joule energizer, for about 350 bucks, the same size as the one jewel energizer pre-made, we were able to put one together. So I'll show you what the components are. Everything you can kind of buy on Amazon, uh, or you can buy directly from Premier One separately from the main energizer kit. So it starts out here with a 30 watt solar panel. Uh, these are pretty cheap and abundant. This was on Amazon for I think 50 bucks. This case is all it is, is a waterproof toolbox. It's got a nice uh, gasket in here, so it keeps everything nice and waterproof. This was only about 30 bucks. Uh, it's a pretty simple system. Here's the energizer. It's a two joule energizer. Nope, Tilly, don't step on that. Uh, it's called IntelliShock, so it, it actually modifies the amount of energy that it puts out uh, as there's more or less vegetation touching the fence. So um, it actually saves you energy and won't wear out your battery. The, so the way this is set up is the solar panel, I just drilled a hole right here in the side. The solar panel wire goes right through here and it is connected to this charge controller right here. So we've got our batteries almost full. Uh, this is the morning, so it went all night without solar, so it's down to like 80%. This is our charge controller. Uh, so the, what this does is it protects the battery from getting overcharged or uh, um, have too much energy in it. If you just plug the solar panel into it after a bunch of hot days, sunny days, you may burn out your batteries. So it protects your battery. So we have the solar panel going right into this and then this uh, is plugged right into our batteries here. I need some better lugs, but that works for now. And then the Energizer has uh, these leads here which we put on here if we want to plug the there now now the energizer is cranking you can hear it clicking uh, then the energizer itself has leads that go out to our grounding rod system here and uh, and actually to the fence here so now our fence is energized uh, the cool thing about this system is it's watch out Tilia. it's pretty mobile when I'm ready to move it I just un, un turn it off which just means unclipping this red clip Whoa, watch out then I close the latches and then all I got to do is pull out the grounding rod. I thought we were going to pull out the grounding rod. Here you can help me. Pull out the grounding rod. So this is a three foot grounding rod. Um, we're on a fairly short section of fence here so this is enough. On larger sections of fence we actually use two of these and wire them together so we have six feet of grounding total and then we can just pick up we gotta unplug it here, pick up our leads, and then we can just carry it around. Uh, the battery is pretty heavy. I have a pretty heavy duty battery because uh, we use this occasionally in the winter where we have not very much sunlight. So I have a pretty beefy battery. You don't need one quite so beefy if you're using it just in the summertime. 
Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty easy thing to set up. All the components are on Amazon and you can do the whole thing for about 350 bucks, which is about half the price of buying a kit from, uh, from Premier One. And uh, so far we have two of these systems set up, one here for the cattle and then one on the other side of the farm for the sheep. And they both work great. Uh, even when we've got a lot of tall grass that's up against the uh, electric fence, it still has a pretty good uh, uh, discharge. So we're really happy with this system and um, it just this year has saved us about 700 bucks. So we're pretty happy about that too.